What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode, and this is Trading to Team of the Year Hybrid, episode 19. And we start with this, uh, picking up a knife for 5,000 coins. I'm going to sell them in, in a little bit, because this episode is called Deja Vu, and you're going to see pretty much me self-converting players um, over and over and over again to make us as much profit as possible, because at the moment, um, us converting players like Fabian have made us pretty much the most profit so that's an area we're going to focus on and it's quick trading as well um, so I bought loads loads of these center forwards the cam cards and um, the max I spent on these were 2,000 coins and the max I want to spend on the players are 2,000 coins so as a package the whole Fabian max is going to cost me is 4,000 coins that's for the player and the position card so anything over that we're making profit and uh, we Put this um, center forward uh, Fabian in, we convert him to Cam, and we list him for around, I think, 6.4k. So uh, we picked him up for 2k. You know, worst comes to worst, that card is 2k. That's four. So we're making 2.4k, uh, you know, uh, not after tax, but before tax. So every player, we're making one or 2k profit i would say and um that is pretty cool for any player of that sort of value we picked this one at 1.9 put them up for 6.4 another one we are going to convert and as i said deja vu you're going to see this over and over in this episode because it's making us quick profit 1.5 he cost me going to put him up for 6.4 uh, max that guy cost me it was three and a half to convert uh, another fabian and this time we're going to put him up for i think roughly the same six point four K so yeah it's really working for me and there you go one has sold for six point four K um, in a 5212 formation so not the most sought after formation that's why they're usually the lowest bin and the easiest center force to get hold of and people will always buy these ones because he looks such a good cam as well um, got this one for 1.8 put him up for 6.4 Again, just making, you know, one plus K profit on each one of these, which is pretty cool. Um, 2,000, going to put them up for 6.4. Again, another one we are converting, and this time in a uh, 4, 2, 3, 1 formation. Bought him for 1.1, going to put him up for 6,500 coins just because of his formation. We picked this Marcus um, Aurelio for 2.1, going to hopefully get uh, just shy of 7k for him, mainly because he's converted to striker. Now that we picked up for 5,000 that I showed earlier, uh, we're going to sell for 7.4k, so hopefully he does sell. And Marcos Jr., we saw another center forward that I was thinking I could exploit as well, convert him to cam just because of that 90 pace and we go uh, we bought him for 400 and we're hoping to get 4.9k from him which will be really tidy profit if he does sell this Janukovic for 3.1k hopefully going to get 8.9 thousand coins for him and uh, another daily gift this time a mini a bronze pack again and uh, literally we really didn't get anything we got a ball so um, I did list that and hope you know, I'm hoping overnight for 200 coins it will sell. The rest I literally just sell for 24 coins. As you can see there, 14 players have sold. We're at 807,000 coins. Uh, Marco Fabian for 6.4 in a 3-4-1-2 formation. A Ramirez from a previous episode uh, sold for value for... Uh, well, sold for 7.4k. A Shinji Kagawa sold for 9.9. The Marcos uh, sold for 4.7k. So I had to reduce him a little. We took a couple of tries to sell. Uh, Marco Fabian for 6.4. A Wesley from a previous episode for 1.6k. Uh, a random bronze manager that I had around the club, I think, uh, for 200. Uh, 6.5k for Fabian in a 4.33. The Nye sold for 7.4k. K. Again, really tidy profit off him. Another Fabian, this time again 6.4. You know the mark for these Fabians. Another Fabian, 6.4. This guy, I think, put a 41212 card on him. A Janukovic sold for 8.9k. A Aralano finally sold for 5,000 coins, and I was hoping to get around 7, 8. So he was really, really, really tough to convert. And, um, to sell and another one for 6.4k i do believe so we picked this one up for 4.8 already in his native cam position and hopefully going to get 6.7 from him a fagner in a 433 7.2 that we put up just shy of 9k another fabian for 5.5 gonna put him up for 6.7k a Bobadlia we're gonna discard and the others we're just gonna put up the ones that didn't sell from a previous episode 
And um, some of these are tough to sell, or they're just not wanted in those positions. I had one cam who's converted to a striker, one centre forward converted to a cam, and they're not the easiest to sell at sometimes. But um, you know, that's something you'll have to find out when you trade yourself. A Lucas for 8k, gonna put him just shy at 10,000 coins. A Prib, he's a really, really underrated player to trade with. Two and a half k, put him just shy of 4,000 coins. Janukovic already at Cam for 7.1, going to put him up for 8.8k. So not the craziest profit from him, um, but you know it's it's not too bad. And Akichi that we traded quite a few times in this series, 4.2, and we're hoping to get. Uh, I think we're going to do a start price of 9k and going to put him 13750 because he is converted to centre mid, and that does amp his price up a lot. Adia Kite for 10k, going to put him just shy of 14. And uh, a couple of Fabians ready to convert ourselves. And um, this is, as I said, the title, Deja Vu. You're just going to see this method over and over. Um, if you were doing it yourself, look for a player that has a big increase from centre forward or striker, if that's his native position, to cam or an, a position like that. And um, see the price difference because there was a massive price difference for Fabian. Uh, this Muller for 7.9, going to sell him for 11,750, I do believe. And uh, we already sold that Lucas. He was pretty easy to sell, and he's pretty wanted uh, at Sao Paulo uh, because he is going to go out of packs soon. I do believe going into the PSG version. Convert this Fabian to Cam 1.6, going to put him around 6.8k. So I'm just going to convert even some more Fabians. Uh, 1.5k we pay, uh, bought for him, and we're going to put him up for 6.7. Another one that we're going to convert to Cam, and 1.7 we're going to put him up at 6.7. Again, really tidy profits if all of these do sell. Another one converted to Cam 1.7, going to put him up for 6.7k. Another center forward. <laughs> it's really, you're going to see this, um, or oh, you have seen this a lot in this episode. Um, convert him to Cam. Picked him up for 1K, going to put him up at 6.7K. Last thing, really, to top it off is another um, daily gift. This time it was a mini gold pack, which is pretty cool. Um, I got a docu, and that's really about it. I kept the contract just to use on a player if he's out of contract to sell, and the rest I just discard uh, to get myself 363 coins, which isn't bad. Also, as well as another daily gift for the next day i'll get 500 coins so that is pretty much the end of the episode it'd be much appreciated if you could check out my channel subscribe um check out my previous videos links in the description to my twitch twitter and facebook and do remember to like before you leave the video it really does help a lot out and i will see you tomorrow until then peace